Bonjour, I was just passing these rocks and I was thinking about the outstanding artists and I think we can all learn from this outstanding artist how to overcome the blockades that we are something having when it's coming down to, to our creativity. Let me start, uh, tell you the short story of Michelangelo, what an outstanding artist his, he was and I think there's so much wisdom not only in his art but the way he was uh, he was working. When he was uh, working on this famous statue of David, he was not thinking how to uh, how to create David and, and was not overthinking it and was not pushing it so much. He was working for a place where he was thinking he's setting free David out of a huge rock of of marble. So David, this outstanding uh, piece of art, was already in this block and it was just captured in this block and all uh, Michelangelo done was setting him free. I think this is the way how great artists are thinking. They are thinking of them as a vessel for greatness. They are not expecting greatness from them or to generate greatness and being uh, brilliant. No, they are just thinking about it. How can be I be a great medium that is that is uh, that is materializing this art that is channeling this creative artistic energy that surrounds the whole universe and it is just uh, there so i think it is one of the easiest way to overcome your blockades is to stop generating your own ideas and pushing yourself it is about becoming open and find them in reality to accept that you are just a channel for this outstanding creative energy and then you are stop suffering from creative blocks so instead of pressure yourself brilliance uh, to be brilliant this and know that this will be a tool that is useless this pressuring yourself will feel will make you feel overwhelmed instead to think that you are not creating you are not the one that should create the idea but starts to seeking the seeds perhaps it is a rock that a, where you see something and then you are beginning to work on it perhaps like Michelangelo with with hammer and chisel perhaps it is a form where you see a small small seed of that can become something more that is inspiring you and then you are just taking this um, inspiration this seeds already exists in reality and it's not about finding them Ag again pushing yourself to find them but to 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 seek them to become open and then you are finding them and then just you are take care of you uh, of them artistic work is becoming less a uh, work or a uh, job it is becoming a duty to take care about all the seeds that are already out there and just waiting uh, for you this is becoming then your art and this kind of artistic process don't need any any pressure and it's don't it's not needing any any blockades or, and, and frustration it is all about taking care of something that is already existing and just bringing the greatness uh, out of uh, it and this way you are feeling so much more passion for art because then you are becoming in a way how to put it a mother that is taking care about something that will grow to to something that is uh, uh, extraordinary that is outstanding and this opportunities then when you are starting to think this way your opportunities are opening to you uh, to you because you are seeing all these possibilities of, of taking something and bringing it and and growing it into to greatness and this is a way that will focus you on finding not pressure yourself or demanding from yourself not seeking anymore but just spotting it and you can only spot things when you are remaining open when you are not in your head and just being and just rethinking everything uh, being open demands from you a meditative state where you are open to everything that is happening the, uh, the, the uh, seeing then 
all the possibilities is becoming your main job and there is no time to to keep yourself busy with all the worries and all the blockades that could uh, perhaps uh, happen you are perhaps when you are of course it is not always possible because sometimes we are in an unhappy place when we cannot re remain open when it's really almost impossible to take care about other things because we are feeling so much pain and all its needs when you are in such a situation is a change to take yourself out of uh, this problematic situation to step outside of the shadow and step into the light because light will unveil all these possibilities and also light will make it possible to, to grow this, uh, these things, to take the seeds and allow to light shine on it so it can grow to something that is outstanding. So think today about it. How can you become a better medium instead of pressure the things to, that to put this task up on you that will overwhelm you or block you? How can you become more open? How can you develop a habit in which you are more someone who is finding the possibilities instead of, of, of forcing them to reveal themselves uh, for you. It is something worth to think about and I think it's also worth to tune in for my next video. Until then, see you soon. Bye bye.